My name is Gerald Isiguzo, OP. I'm a Dominican priest of the province of St. Joseph the Walker, Nigerian Ghana. I am a passionate promoter of the, uh, the apostolate of preaching through arts. I strongly believe that there is a strong connection between the discipline of arts and uh, religion and preaching. My discovery of my talent was actually in my primary one. Uh, when an assignment was given by our primary school teacher then, he had, she had asked us to draw a fowl, a chicken. <laughs> okay, so after the assignment, we had all submitted it and then she called, who is Gerald? Who is Gerald? I said, I was afraid, I became afraid. I said, who? What have I, what offense have I committed? Only for her to say, wow, this is a very good work of art. Who drew this? I said, I was the one. So she had to show my work to all the class members about how I drew and they applied the effects of shading, what we call in art, tonal gradation, how light and, and shade play, play in a work of art, how light and darkness play in a work of art. And so that was when I, I, I felt I had this talent. I was naturally called out for, for becoming an artist. I was born and brought up in Suka and the university environment, University of Nigeria Suka. Um, that was where I did my nursery, primary, secondary, and <laughs> university education. Uh, my living in Suka was just because of my service, national service. That was what took me to Oshobo, Washington State, where I served in 2007, between 2007 and 2008. It was after then I had, a, um, I had to apply. I've always had it in mind to become a priest, but that was when I thought of applying to the Dominican, to join the Dominicans. And shortly after that, I was taken then we went to a baron to begin a novitiate program. Pre-novitiate first and then novitiate and all that things followed. And so I am a passionate promoter of the, uh, the apostolate of preaching through arts. I strongly believe that there is a strong connection between the discipline of arts and uh, religion and preaching, so to say. And so uh, all my life I've been thinking of how to make this connection felt in the public, in the society, in the church, in the other. And so, and then luckily for me, I've been opportuned or privileged to do some few works of art since I joined the Dominicans. A um, few works of art that, that communicate my intention, the idea of preaching through arts. And one of it was, the first of it all was the Statue of St. Dominic, which I did in 2010 while in the Novichet um, in Ibadan. And the Statue of St. Dominic is still there at St. Thomas Aquinas Priory, Ibadan. And that was the first work I did. And uh, shortly after that, I was also privileged to go to Rome to, to participate in the other celebration of um, the anniversary or the foundation of the other preachers. To participate in that art exhibition to mark the anniversary, the anniversary of the other. And I was given a task, an assignment to work on. I had to work on uh, a particular Dominican personality in the person of uh, uh, Bartolomeo de las Casas who worked for justice among the Native Americans. And so that was the work I did after the work I did in Ibadan. And uh, shortly after that, I, when on my return, I was also an uh, opportunity to do a few works of art. But now, right now, I'm here in Unilag, in the University of Lagos, um, St. Thomas More Chaplain's University of Lagos, to do another work of art. This time, I'm trying to make that strong connection felt this current connection I talked about between arts and preaching. I'm working on the passage of John chapter 4 from verse number 4 to 42, the encounter of Jesus with the Samaritan woman and when Jesus asked her for a drink, give me a drink, give me a drink. I Peter stood me and then the woman said, what, 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 have, what has the Samaritan woman got to do with a Jew? And Jesus told her, if you knew the gift of God, if you knew the gift of God, so how I try to make that connection between art and preaching, art and religion, art and theology, and how art can preach, and how the artist, how the artist priest can preach through art. Uh, I'm a twin, so I have a twin brother. I didn't, I was born alone. I didn't grow up alone, so I grew up as a community. I would say I grew up as a community because of my twin brother, and then of course my family, my siblings. We are the last, you know. I'm the last with my twin brother, the last in a family of seven. Um, and then um, I, I had all the pleasures of childhood. I enjoyed every bit of it from my parents, the parental care, 
And then being the last, the care of my elder siblings. In my secondary school, I continued reading. I were only five of us, I think about five of us, who did arts in the secondary school. But only two of us took it in exam, about two or three. And it's Wayek, I know. So that was when I felt that people don't really appreciate art. Uh, they don't really appreciate art. So but I knew, I was cowed out naturally to become an artist in the future.